welcome to a new video. Today we're at Bra House for round 7 of the Club 100 Junior Championship. Um, and it's actually straight after round 6 from Clay Pigeon, which we did pretty well at. We came P6 uh, in the end, which is not bad. And we already send one up the inside of that guy. First over take of the day already done. And yeah, Clay Pigeon was pretty successful, I would say. So we need to make sure we get some more good points for today. So going through here, just testing out the track, seeing what it's like. I actually really enjoy this track now. It's a very, very smooth track, but it kind of feels like a weird surface. Like, it's like, it's quite grippy on the rears, but it's quite um, understeering. So through here, it's really, essential when you hit that curb on the inside otherwise you're just going to go flying off. I felt really quick through these hairpins because it's all about who can break the latest but then on the exit I think I just clobbered the wall there. As you see I went slightly too wide and if you go a tiny bit too wide and uh, you end up in that barrier or if you get shoved off wide you end up in that barrier as well. So coming through here. Also I forgot to mention this round was also live streamed but sadly I didn't really get any footage like covered from the live stream but luckily last round at Buckman Park in November will be live streamed so hopefully I'll get some good coverage in that one and trying to figure out how to take that first corner that is it's really hard because it, it feels like it just goes on forever that corner um, I seem catching up to some people out here but I seem to struggle on the exit as you can see everyone seems to be pulling away down the straight but I don't know if that's just me sliding a bit on the exit or it might just be a cart being a bit slower. But carry on. Through here, I was quick round this bit, I felt like that was pretty good. And going onto the straight, hopefully we'll be able to pick up a bit of a slipstream. I think we might be a bit too far back. Oh no, you can see the slipstream's working. Uh, the camera doesn't really do it much justice, but this first call was very, very fast. And there goes Rory Hickney. One of the Warrington war Warriors got past me there. But the camera really doesn't do it justice. It's a lot faster than you think at that first corner. Because Rory does the same thing as me. He goes really wide. He's up the inside of uh, Richie there, who's from Buckmore. Now, following Rory, see if I can pick up any sort of racing line tips from him almost. Because he did the pre event testing. And I was one of the few people that didn't do pre event testing as. Tons and tons of people did pre-event testing uh, today. I mean, not today, but you know what I mean, on the day. And I think that gave them quite a big advantage in the practice and quality. Um, I think in the end, in this practice, I came P7 overall, which wasn't too bad. But you can already see we're getting gapped by Rory quite a lot. But we need to just see what he's doing and try and just sort of copy his lines. I think the main thing I struggled with is this corner here. I was not running it out wide enough, and that cost me a lot of speed. And I only realised that I should be doing that really in the final, or like the few, last few races of the day, I realised I should be doing it. Now, going through the last corner, caught back up to Rory now. That drive goes wide, Rory gets a lovely switch back. Hopefully, we can pick up a bit of a toe and follow Rory through. No, we're too far back. I'm going to make sure we get a good exit out here. Hopefully we're going to be able to pull something off, maybe on the brakes. And oh no, we can't. He outbreaks himself. Oh, he goes into the back of Rory. We try and go undercut him, but it's not going to happen. Try and go for a switch back here, maybe. But no. The cart just seems to be gapping us down the straight. Now, through the wiggly bit, the last sector, which is quite wiggly, I'd say. I'd say there's sort of three sectors. There's the first sector, which is the first corner. And like going up towards the hairpin. Second sector's like the hairpin. And then third sector's that wiggly bit. And he's rubbing his leg or something, going down the straight, and we've overtaken him. And hopefully, we're going to see if we can catch up to Rory in this, in this practice. I almost said quality there. But you can see we're gaining a lot on the brakes, but we need to just uh, focus on our exit speed because we're, we're losing a lot of time on the exit. That was slightly better, but you can see Rory's using all of that exit to really maximise the speed he can carry out the corner. But I think I, with that corner, you keep you think it's a hairpin, but it's really not. 
So you really can straighten up the steering a lot more than you think, and I was just not. And that's why my exit speed was a bit slower. But let's go straight into qualifying. And we're going out for quality, and you can see it looks a bit overcast. It looks like it's a lot less sunny than practice was. Um, it was almost, at some point in the day, it was starting to spit a tiny bit, or I thought it was, but it never really started raining, and I always locked up quite a lot, a lot of tires weren't they? I thought he was in Tokyo Drift, fast and furious, but that's not the way you want to drive a cart, really. So we get past him straight away once again. Now, qualifying, it's uh, 11 minutes, so we need to really... In my head, I was just thinking, right, I'm gonna... There's no point slowing down, because there's tons of people behind me, but there's no point, um, like, battling. So I, I just thought in my head, I need to overtake all these drivers here as fast as I possibly can. And so it would be some good overtaking practice for racing. So, got past one already. So we need to get past this... Uh, let's see how many people are in this group, like one, two, three, four, five, like a six car group really. We need to really try and overtake and get some overtake practice. As you can see I'm running out more there and you can see definitely it's helping out of that corner. We need to find a way past Richie here. And we're going into this corner. We're going to get a better run than him but we run out on the curves so we lose a bit of speed. Look at that toe! So we're gonna maybe I thought about getting Sandy one up the inside, but you really don't want to hit Sandy off in the corner, otherwise you're gonna end up with tons of penalties. So I think we might have a better chance here. Oh no, I clobbled the curb on the inside. We're gonna let him try and go for a switchback or something, no, it's not gonna work. And I thought about going up the inside and that guy just goes wide and then I fell on purpose or oh there's a lot of battling going up ahead. Come on guys, it's qualifying. And we're up the inside of two people into one corner. And now this guy's slowing down right in front of us. And we need to find a way past him, really. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to set any good laps in. Richie goes back up the inside of us. But we need to just... We need to get some clear air here. So, we're going to help him along the street a bit. Make sure to give him some room going into the first bend. So, I don't really like loading into the back of people. It's really unfair and really annoying when you're driving. So that's why I do it. Let them have space on the brakes and then now I get a slightly better run out the corner but it's not going to work. Thought about going up the inside there, maybe go for a switch back here. Is it going to work? Maybe. Uh, no we can't, we just quite don't have, we don't quite have the overspeed. We don't manage to get past. We're going into these corners, see if I can hang it around the outside. No, I thought about it but he actually covers it off quite nicely, I don't know if that was on purpose or not. Now, tucking into the slipstream once again, and I'm just going to send it now. Or maybe not. Thought about it. You can see I'm really thinking about these overtakes, and I'm not actually going for it. He runs a bit wide, so we're going to go round his outside. Lovely move there. Now, going down into the head, we really need to set some hot laps here. Otherwise, we're going to run out of time. We're already around four minutes or so into this qualifying session, and it's only 11 minutes long, so we haven't got very long at all set some quick laps in but I guess at least he's it's heating up our tyres quite a lot all this battling we're going to try and hold one around the outside once again into that corner not going to work we're going to tuck into the slipstream go down the straight we get a much better run than he does going down the straight and that's another position gained in this qualifying now focus on this driver ahead of us we're going to try and send one up the inside at some point maybe dive one in on the brakes and oh no he mucks up he hit the grass on the outside or something, he hit a bump and you saw he just fishtailed all over the place. So now, we've got a tiny bit of clear air in front of us, so we're going to try and go for some speedy laps here now. Into this section, trying to be nice and smooth, and trying to maximise our exit speed out there. I was quick through that corner, but this corner I struggled out a bit. Ran a bit wide there, but not too bad. Now head down, going down the straight into the first bend, carrying a lot more speed than I did in uh, practice, hooked that up really nicely there actually, quite a good entry into that corner, now going towards the heavens, you can see how much we're gaining on the brakes, but you can see we're also losing quite a lot of time on the exit, so we really need to focus on that, now 
sort of learned I need to straight line it a bit more, so I'm getting better at straight lining it, but I'm still losing time on that exit. Quick through this section, because you sort of use that pit lane bit there, that yellow bit, to sort of your exit sort of area. Final corner, run, curve and exit. We're definitely gaining on the guy in front, so I'm happy with my pace so far in this quali. Try to go a bit tighter there, into the first bend, seeing if that works out at all. Now into the hairpin we go. Launch in the kerb. Oh, but you can see I'm sort of, I sort of need to get more of the turning done. The turn done before the exit, because I'm still turning on the exit and that's why I'm drifting out. Now picking out a bit of a toe, and this guy's in, guy in front of us. Hopefully this should be quite a decent lap. Now following him down. I think this is probably going to be one of our quickest laps. Now, down the straight, we're going to get the toe, and you can see how much we're gaining, and that's at least a tenth of a second gain down that straight. Now, into the first bend once again, we need to try and find a way past it, but we're definitely quicker than him. Now, can we go for a little switch back? Is that going to work? And yes, he sees us and lets us pass, so I wave at him and say thank you. That was a very nice thing to do. Now, we've got to really focus on some quick laps now. And I'm going to skip to what looks like quite a fast lap. signals to go ahead he really wants to catch up and I don't blame him so I'm gonna help him as I know I've not I don't seem to be able to keep up with these guys in front so I'm gonna try and work with him and it's already working we've already caught back up with him and I'm gonna help bump draft him down the straight he thought about going for a move on Tom there but I think he was still a bit too far back but you can see on the exit of these corners my car doesn't seem to be as quick as the other guys and look, see, down the straight, I was getting gapped, as you can see. Now, into the first bend. What's going to happen? Again, a bit wide. Oh, a bit wide, and Ryan Shepard's down the inside. A bit of contact there, but I think that's okay, because I think he's fully up or inside by the time we got on the exit of the corner. And we're down into P7. But you've got to think, like, about penalties and stuff. People might get penalties that are further in front of us. So we'll see where we actually end up. Sadly, I only got footage of this pre-A final, as my little brother had the camera for the A final. So, sorry about that, but we're just gonna have to make do with this final. But what I've found is I really need to sort of focus on my overtakes uh, more, which I actually did in the final. In the final, I actually got punted off on the first few corners and actually got stuck on someone's car going down the street right here. And, um, I lost a lot of places, got went all the way down to sort of like P5, 
B15, B16s, and like that. And then I managed to make my way all the way back up to P9, which I was actually really pleased about because I sort of just went full send. I didn't really mind if I got a penalty. On I sort of went in that mindset. I didn't really mind if I got a penalty or got spun or whatever or mucked up because. I was just trying to get these points, trying to make as many positions as I could. I actually paid off really well. And I came P6, which I was really happy about. I mean P P9, I meant. But we need to really focus on the final round of the championship. Currently sitting in P8 in the championship at the moment. Um, I'm the only person inside the top 15 that's actually missed a round. So I'm a bit of a disadvantage because it means that every round for me counts. Pretty much, I've not really got any sort of safety if I have a bad round or something like that because I missed GYG. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna have to go full send for Buckmore for the final round in November. And I really like Buckmore, it's my home track, I think. I'll say it's my home track, home outdoor track, I would say. Um, so, I'm quick around there, and I know all the overtaking sports and stuff like that. So, hopefully, it will go well. And we've caught up to Ryan Shepherd and Northcott, but we sort of went on the back of him into that hairpin. Now following Northcott, can we do anything? But you can see Dom and George have just gapped everyone so much, and Zach's sort of pulling away from this little trio here. Following Tom, is there any way we can get past him? We had some good battles with him at Clay Pigeon last week. Now tucking into the slipstream, but you can see the I'm. I think my car must have been a bit off the pace in this race because down the street you can see I'm getting gapped quite a lot. Into, uh, I think that court's called Stadium, I'm pretty sure. Now, into the hairpins, we really gain on the brakes, as you can see. Now, getting the turning done, but you can see we're still sliding on that exit, and that means we're getting a bad exit out of the corner. Now, making sure to run it wide on the exit. Following Tom. Uh, we turned in a bit too late there, but we'll know that for the next lap, not to turn in a little bit earlier. You can see just out the corners, my car just didn't seem to have the pace the other people did. It ran really wide there, hit that sausage curb on the outside. And you can see in a matter of like a few corners, he's gapped me by at least a second, I would say there. Now, going into the hairpins, you see there's some more battling going up in front, so that's going to make us reel them in a bit more. Now, I think we're roughly halfway through this race, I think. We've not got too much longer of this race to go. Um, and you can see a lot of battling going up in front of us. We just really need to focus on our laps and just try and catch them back up in this race. Now, you can see Still getting gapped down the straight a bit, but we're quicker through some of the corners. Some of the corners are a bit slow, some of them are a bit quicker. Now, into the hairpins, once again, I'm going to try and follow these guys. See, gaining on the brakes once again, took a ton of curve there, and that's going to almost put in his entire barrier. Oh, slight mistake there from me. But we carry on. Just currently sitting in P8, I think, in the road at the moment. And we are following these guys in front of us pretty well now. I think we've sort of gotten into quite a good rhythm now. You can see, like, out of the corner, I don't know if there's anything I'm doing wrong, or, like, not turning enough or something, but I'm getting gapped down the street quite a lot. But we're just going to have to deal with it, adapt to every car. You can see tons of battling in front of us, and that's going to bring us all really close together. And, oh, Dom's in the barrier! Dom's got shoved into the barrier, and that's surely going to be a penalty for someone or something. I'm not really sure that happened, but he must have just got shoved off there. And that actually happened quite a few times today. Quite a lot of people ended up in that barrier on the outside. Um, or had to go avoid it. But now that's brought us closer, and Zach Watson has taken the lead of the race. And look, there we go, penalties are flying. And... Rhymes down the inside of George. And now it's going to bring us all closer together now. George is trying to go a bit defensive, trying to hold his position. Everyone running can run a bit wider now, now that barrier is out of the way. 
into the hairpin. Again, you can just see I'm getting gapped down the street, which is not useful, but we're just going to have to go and deal with it, because Club 100, on the whole, I feel like the carts are very even, but I think because the field is so close, um, it makes a massive difference if your cart's even like two tenths off the pace. Because I remember at Clay Pigeon, if you were three tenths off pole, you were in the B final. It was ridiculously close. And same with Right House, it was really close. Not as close, I'd say. And there's a yellow flag out. I think, yeah, there's some marshals are fixing the barrier. And going into the heaven. Going towards Pylon because there's a massive pylon there, as you can see. Cutting it fine between that curve. Oh, we've been absolutely had. There was a bit of contact there, but um, I'm not sure. It was quite a dive ball from that guy. And we're down another position. We're going to try and go for a re-attack. But we're just not quite close enough, and he covers it off quite nicely. I uh, got a worse exit, and now someone else is up my inside. That's not good for us at all. Not going well in this race. Now, following this guy in front of us, maybe we can try and go on a re attack and try and get back past him. But I don't know if that move was fully clean or not on that, from that blue helmet guy, but I think on the whole, I think it was a pretty good move. Because he only hit me on the exit, so I think it's okay. If he hit me mid corner, Oh, he runs very wide there, and that's going to mean our helmet guy is going to... Oh, he's going to send it up the inside first corner, and that's going to... Oh, that's a nice move from him. And that's going to bring us really close, but sadly we don't get the exit. And we almost got past him, but we didn't. We were very close to him. Now, almost got a switch back on him. You can see, I just get the worst exit out of these corners. I just, the car just doesn't seem to be pulling as well. Look, even though I took exactly the same line, you can still see he's gapping me down the straight. Anyway, enough of me whining about my car being like a few tenths off the pace. I'm gonna try and follow and try and go for a re-attack. Because that arrow helmet guys are already gapping us quite a lot. Pulling away from us a lot already. Now into the first bend. Too far back for any sort of move. And we're coming to the end stages of this race. We haven't got many laps left to go. And going through the hairpin. Slightly touched the barrier once again on the exit. Thought about something going on there. Thought about switchback. But it's really hard to get a switchback. Because you'd have to get fully alongside and sort of cover it off for the next hairpin. And those people should go back past you. Sticking with this guy in front of us. I'd say. Sticking with him at sort of similar pace. Now, final lap of the race, he's gapped us quite a lot now, but he's going, he feels the need to go defensive into the first bend, taking the normal line. I missed the apex there by quite a fair bit, so needs to improve on that one. Into the hairpins. You can see how much we get in the brakes, but on the exit, he was slightly slower. Now, into the hairpin once again. He clobbed the curb. Well, we thought about going for a switchback, but sadly we didn't get the exit. And now into the final few corners. Really starting to close up on him. I don't think there's anything we can really do now. He's going to be close on the line. I run wide, that's going to compromise my exit. And that is P... Uh, I think that's P8 in the end. So, pretty happy with my result. But, yeah. Um, I think my cop just made it hard for me to overtake. But in the end... P9 in that race and I think in the next race I came P9 as well because I got pumped off but yeah hope you enjoyed the video and um, I can't wait until the next round and yes hopefully we get a podium for the last round and hopefully we end the season on a high see you in the next one bye